So our vibration technicians in RIAM are some of the smartest and most capable folks in our plant. We started working with KCF with a pilot in early 2021. We have since expanded to all of our manufacturing facilities. After our initial pilot of a couple hundred sensors, we then set out to say, okay, we need to make sure all of our critical pieces of equipment in the mill that would affect safety first, environmental, and then process downtime were all covered by KCF sensors. Right now, we have about 2,600 KCF sensors on site at the Jessup facility. Probably 95% of our equipment now uh, that's critical is censored. We are competing on a worldwide scale. We're competing internationally. We have to be better than our international competition at identifying things, fixing them right the first time, and not wasting resources. KCF has really helped us in providing real-time, live, continuous data on the condition of our equipment so that we can make decisions to ensure that equipment runs from scheduled outage to scheduled outage. Since we have introduced KCF in 2021, our route-based data collection has went from 30 days to 60 days and 90 days. According to the equipment criticality, we are depending more on KCF because it collects data 24-7. You know, in a perfect world, theoretically, you should be able to get an idea of the condition of an asset based on a reading every 30 days. But we all know in an industrial setting like this, we're not in the perfect theoretical world. So we have a lot of outside influences, environments, chemicals, things like that, that really affect the equipment. So being able to take a reading every five, 10 minutes instead of once every 30 or 60 days and use that data to make an informed decision has really helped us improve our reliability tremendously. What this technology has enabled us to do is for these technicians to find defects in our process, in our equipment, identify those, and spend more of their hours actually troubleshooting and understanding those problems rather than simply walking the plant to find them in the first place. Specifically, we have a piece of equipment on our pulp washers that is a, basically a slow turning auger screw that transfers the pulp from one end to the other end of the piece of equipment. And in the past, a 30 day vibration route was not adequate to catch a defect in these bearings. We would take a handheld reading on it, and then before that next 30-day route, we were having failures. You know, the team was scratching their heads on what was going on. So when we first put KCF on these pieces of equipment and saw that step change and the condition of that asset in a small amount of time, that was really a big aha moment for the team to say, you know what, this is really gonna help us improve our reliability. With KCF, we are catching things that happens in the middle of the night. KCF has enabled us to understand the condition of the equipment at all times without being surprised. We're controlling how we're managing the equipment, when we're taking the equipment down, instead of letting it get to the point to where we get a call in the middle of the night or we get a call on a weekend when we're with our family. You know, anytime that we can come to work, do our jobs while we're at work, and be able to go home and spend time with our family and not get interrupted is always a positive thing. KCF is bringing critical information to their team and because of that, they have been able to head off problems. Foreknowledge is just so powerful in any business and it's certainly true in our business. Early knowledge is allowing the operators and the plants to be able to react, to be able to do something without perhaps shutting the rest of the plant down. And so all the team members, one of the first questions they ask when there's an issue they say, well, what does KCF say? What, what's it telling us about this particular piece of equipment? Is it something we need to react to or can it be scheduled on the next down day? KCF has saved us a lot of downtime already in the almost three years we've had it in service. As equipment moves into a more precise state, things like mechanical seals and packings, we have a lot of rotating pumps uh, and fluid handling systems in our process. Those pieces of equipment are lasting longer and we have a cleaner environment as a result of that as well.